Hello everyone and welcome back to the code syndicate. In this video we will discuss text type in python that is the string type. String or str is the text type of data type in python. String is a collection of multiple characters written within a pair of single quotes or double quotes or even in a triple quote. Now let's see how we can create a string using single quotes or double quotes. We can declare a single line string using a single quote or a double quote like string value equals inside of single quotes this is a string or we can use double quotes as well printing this variable is also a very easy task let's print both the variables as we are using a python cell we do not need to print like this to showcase a variable. We can just write the variable name and hit enter and it will showcase you the value. We can get the type of these two variables by using type. Here you can see we are getting the type str that is the string. Let's see this for this string value 2 now let's see how we can create a multi-line string using triple quotes here we have created this multi string variable and inside of this triple quotes we are having this string this is a and new line multi line and again a new line with code let's display this multi string here you can see we are getting this backslash n and here also this indicates a new line from here as you can see after this character a we are having this new line and new line is represented by backslash n let's do one thing let's print this multi string here you can see the actual output now what happens when we try to write a multi line string using this double quotes or single quotes. Let's see. Here you can see we are getting this error. That means we cannot use single quotes or double quotes while writing a multi line code but we can use these characters to make a string multi-line while using single quotes or double quotes for example string equals this is backslash n new line let's print this string here you can see we have got a new line in place of this plus n we can use other special characters as well like if we have this backslash t then in this second line we will get a tab in the output as you can see we got a tab now we have this string and we want to access characters inside of this string in a string every character are ordered by index and index starts with 0. Let's have this string 
in this string this first character t is at the index 0 and in the index 1 we have this character a and thereafter at index 3 we have i we have s in index 4 and in index 5 we have this s so this way a string is organized if we want to access a particular character from a string we can fetch it by using index so let's say we want to fetch this i from this string for this we need to know the index of this i so if we count from here 0 1 2 3 and this space 4 and finally 5 so we can get this i from string inside of square bracket we will write the index here you can see we have brought this i now let's see how we can get the total length of this string that means the number of character counts for this we use this length function here you can see we have got 18 counts there are few other methods that we can use with string and are very useful let's see them one by one first is capitalizing the first letter of a string that is for this let's modify our string let's apply this capitalize method here you can see we have got this t capitalized if we want to make all of this character uppercase we will use string dot upper and for lower case we use string dot lower we have another method called title this title method makes first character of each word capital let's try this string has some more methods which i take them for later parts of this series this is it for this video if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel i will see you in the next video